So this then used to be some scrap plywood, a piece of flat bar, and it took me forever to find this in the store. And this is the iron out of my plane. From the factory, which apparently wasn't a very good factory, the, uh, the edge right here was apparently ground to the wrong angle so that it would never cooperate. When I finally got everything working with this honing jig, uh, first of all, let me tell you about the construction. Quarter 20 hardware bolts here, and I drilled 13 16 holes through the wood because that's the inside diameter of the threads and then you can just force the threads through and friction holds them in place. A washer and a wing nut. And then uh, this is a piece of flat bar, uh, which I used a hacksaw and then ground off the sharp corners. Uh, oh. Drilled through that on the drill press at the lowest speed uh, with a little bit bigger um, hole than I probably needed. Actually, I drilled the, uh, the metal first and then used the holes to trace where I needed to drill on the on the wood. Uh, this is a 25 degree angle between here and here. We've got just a granite wall tile, it's four dollars, and then a progression of sandpaper. Um, I'm using a little bit of just, eh, it's probably more expensive oil than I need, but it's what I have. Um, food grade mineral oil, use it for the cutting boards. Also used that to cool the drill bit, and yes, it smoked despite running at the slowest speed. Um, what else? Okay, so I'm just kind of be pushing this forward, and one-handed it's kind of difficult. Uh, say hi, little one. You like your French fries? Yeah, you like your French fries. What was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, so the net result, as you can tell, it just kind of it, it holds it at the right angle for me. I use this square to get everything lined up perfectly. And that's kind of that. What I've discovered is on this side, I'm getting a burr. On this side, I'm not getting that burr. You can feel it's still completely smooth versus this feels almost like a, you can almost hear it. Um, and the reason for that, you probably can't quite make this out. I don't know if this is going to focus, but what I was able to determine is that along the edge, right along there, originally as I was going along, you could see a distinct difference in color, a little stripe. And as I get closer and closer to the edge and on the side that has the burr, um, that little stripe disappeared. And what that was is two different angles um, that they had ground to and unfortunately, the one angle was ground horribly so that it wouldn't cut, which is why it was so frustrating. So it's taken me a long time to hone this down to the point of being able to see that extra bevel go away. Now that it's gone, or mostly gone, I'll begin to uh, go higher and higher grit. And the highest one I have right now is 1500 grit. That should be crazy sharp enough to shave with. So I'll let you know how that works out. In the meanwhile, I got some more honing to do. And of course, I've got growing a little boy, which is part of why this takes as long as it does. But I'm happier to work on the boy than I am on the wood any day of the week and twice on Sunday. All right. Thanks a lot. It's been fun.